Welcome to Motion and Product. My name is Michael. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to build your own crypto price tracker in Google Sheets using CoinGecko's free API. This is a fictitious uh, portfolio with um, made up uh, holdings of just 0.2 of each uh, coin or token. And the prices here we're going to retrieve from CoinGecko and combining the two will generate um, the value that we hold of each coin, which then in turn determine the portfolio value. So the reason we're talking about using Google Sheets today for our no code um, channel is that no code can be useful for building applications, but also building personal tools such as the, this portfolio tracker. So when you're thinking about different ways to build things or make things, you know, not everything needs to be an app that's used by millions of people. They could be personal things that you and your friends use or you personally use or just people within your company can use. So these will make your life easier and hopefully others as well. If you're going to use an API, um, you can see that inside Google Sheets, there's import XML data from a CSV format, a feed, something from an HTML page, or a range from another sheet. There's nothing particularly there to say um, taking information from like this response, which is in the format of JSON. And it doesn't look like there's a way for us to return that information back as XML. Um, otherwise, we would be able to use something like this call here and and all the information that's necessary for that. So what we're going to do instead is take a look at the documentation from CoinGecko about how to add um, Google Sheets um, and their data and they link off to this uh, function called import JSON. So clicking on that, there's this um, file on GitHub uh, created by Brad Jasper and what we're going to do is just copy the whole thing. Uh, so just click on that. That copies, uh, copies everything there. And what we're going to do now is go into half scripts. So this is the scripting part of Google Sheets. Here you can write custom code to do calculations uh, through functions. Uh, but you don't really need to know how to write uh, code here. It's, this whole video is about cut and pasting, so that's what we're going to do. So I have an import JSON. Um, and JSON just means um, JavaScript object, object notation. Um, so that's what we have right there. And okay, that's fine. Don't worry about that. And now when I go back to here and I say import JSON, I can see that it's in here already. So cool. If we go to their API um, listing, instead of getting individual um, values, individual prices, uh, we can send in a whole list of um, coin IDs over to uh, CoinGecko and use just one call to get a collection of coins. So the API call that we're looking for is coin markets. Um, so you need to have your target um, currency. So for me personally, it's AUD. So I'll click on try it out. Just put in Cardano, Avalanche 2, and Bitcoin. I don't know where those names come from. So CoinGecko. Um, click on coins. So whatever coin you're interested in. So if I'm interested in Avalanche, um, click on the name. And the IP ID is over here. So for Avalanche is Avalanche dash two. Okay. And here we can get, and here we have our return value where we have inside here, 
we have the price of Bitcoin, the price of Cardano, and the price of Avalanche. And all, all these three calls are retrieved back in one API call. So this whole line. So import JSON, just as before. And I forgot the quotations. Quotations, false. Huh. So everything comes back and it's actually laid out really nicely in a table format for us. And this is really good for us. So what we can do from here is actually just have a single page here and call that our prices page. Create a new page. I'm going to call that prices. I'm going to call it holdings. And here I would have, I'm going to delete this because this is not what we want prices here. Uh, but what's useful here is the units. And let's say I got that from other, um, other systems. At least I have that. And just going through here, looks like I have a few Binance and listed multiple twice. That's probably just on like different, different exchanges that I have Binance on. So and that's why that's there twice. So we're going to handle that as well. So I'm going to I'm going to look at how we break this down. So what we have here is that we have AUD, which is the currency that I'm interested in. But the crazy part is how do I get that list of all the holdings into a comma separated list? Like, how do you do that without um, doing much more? So let's break this down into three parts. The first part will be the first part of the API, the part before our IDs, and the second, third part, which is the part after our IDs. So let's see what we can do here. So concat was two values, but uh, concatenate allows you to do multiple strings. So let's just break this off like this right now. One, two, And same result. So that's good. So now we can say that this works and this part works. What we need to do is handle this middle part here. So for the middle part, what I'm going to do is I just want all these IDs, but um, listed out horizontally as or in one cell as common separated values. So in Google Sheets, you can join um, so the delimiter is this and c2 to c and with this one command uh, one line here we can get that and to do this inside the other page we can just reference holdings so how you can do that is delete that. While you're in the formula state, click on holdings or join. Just write the command that you're planning to do here. I'm interested in this to this right now. And you can see that the formula is just updating itself there. That's good. If I want to add more coins in the future, I can add them here and that will be fine. And cool. Okay. So the thing I forgot there was uh, to add in the unique to remove the duplicates. Like I said before, I had multiple Binance um, 
things in here Binance coins here and here so there's multiple locations there so here we can have the current price of all the coins that we're interested in the market cap um, price change in the last 24 hours all in one call so we have our holdings and our prices from coin gecko so prices from coin gecko and we, our holdings from our personal uh, personal exchanges and so we would enter all this stuff manually in so that's there and we're going to combine both of them into one um, one sheet called portfolio so to copy the values from one sheet to another uh, what we're going to do is click here and we're just going to go like that that gets everything copied over um, and the next part we need to do is to look up the price so under prices we have our current price in here and that's the column one two three four five and the reason I counted these numbers out is to know which column I want to return when I do a VLOOKUP so VLOOKUPs can be a little bit intimidating but I'm just going to walk through um, the exercise right now and just explain it as I go. And hopefully you uh, it will just demystify some of this for you. So VLOOKUP. So the first thing we want to do is what do we want to look for? C2. And uh, nothing there. C4. And where do we want to look up? We want to look up in prices. So you want to look up in all this area here. So the AC with the whole entire sheet. And if we find C4, which is this ID, what we want to do now is say we want to return the fifth column uh, and this part here, I just call false, and we get the price. And if we just double click on this, we'll return all the prices there. We have the units and the price looked up. Uh, we can get the individual price uh, value of each one. So, value, uh, let me copy this. So, we have value, and then value is just the units times the price, so D4 multiplied by D4. So the, there's all the values of the coin prices and the overall portfolio value. What we can do here is the portfolio value and give that a value of Give that a background, a light blue background as well. We make that in bold. And there we go. We have a portfolio value calculated. Make this big. You can see. Oops. So the mistake uh, I did uh, previously um, prior to using the markets call was to look at each coin individually. So uh, looking at the price of each coin individually um, using the coins um, function call. So let's say you had a larger portfolio and in this portfolio, I just have 0.2 units of everything it's just for show. And I did this. What happens is that some of these things will fail. And the error that you get is a 429 error. That means from CoinGecko side, um, you're making too many requests at one time. And to resolve this, 
we need to figure out a different way to approach um, getting our prices. And there we go. There's the whole um, video on how to create a portfolio tracker using Google Sheets and CoinGecko's API. The best thing is that this whole setup is free. Um, you can go ahead and try it out. Let me know how this goes for you. And uh, if you got any value from this video, please remember to click like and considering subscribing to my channel and help it grow uh, so that other people can uh, find out videos just like this. Until next time, enjoy building better products.